Allison, I'd like to ask you something. Yes, mother-in-law? You seem to be working a lot these days. Do you really think that's a good thing? Yes, I have to work to provide for the family. For the family's finances? Isn't that an excuse? It's pathetic that you can't even do the housework and you are useless as a wife. That's not true. I do all the housework. Is that really true? The house is always dirty, the food is never good, and I feel sorry for my son. Celia, I don't think that... Stop making excuses. You can't even have a child. What's the point of providing for the family? You're not fulfilling your role as a wife at all. I'm hoping to get pregnant, but it takes time. Hoping? Don't make me laugh. If you could get pregnant just by hoping, I would have seen my grandchildren long ago. You're just making excuses. Mother-in-law, that's too much. Too much? You're the one who's too much. You married my son. You don't even have a grandchild. All you do is work. Do you think that kind of wife is useful? I'm doing it for my husband. For my husband? You can't do anything for your husband. You can't do the housework. You can't have children. You just run away to work, right? That's not true. I work very hard. Oh, do you now? If you were working hard, we would see more results, right? But what is the reality? I'm not seeing any results. Mother-in-law, please, don't be so cruel. The most important thing is to fulfill your role as a wife, and you don't understand that at all. But I... Enough. I'm tired of hearing your excuses. Honestly, I don't even want to see your face, okay? Oh. Have you ever thought about how my son feels about this situation? Do you have any idea how disappointed my son is in you? My husband supports me too. We are doing our best together. Huh? Don't make me laugh. My son is supporting you, and you're not giving anything back. That's the reality. No, that's... I've had enough excuses. I just want you out of here right now. Celia? This is the reality. If you don't become a better wife for my son, you will ruin our family. I'm sorry. Anyone can apologize. Don't just say it. Show it by your actions. Otherwise, you have no place in this house. Allison, I have something I want to say to you. I'm concerned that you haven't shown your appreciation to me. What? I've been teaching you things and helping you, but you haven't shown me any gratitude. I am sincerely grateful to you, mother-in-law, but... If you are, you should think more carefully and show your gratitude through your actions. Yes. Are you taking the Chinese medicine I gave you? I heard it won't work if you don't take it every day. I am, mother-in-law. I've been taking the Chinese medicine every day for three months now. It was a little hard to get used to at first, but I think my health is getting better little by little. I'm thinking about the future, and I'm going to have to work harder. You went out of your way to order it for me, and I want to live up to your expectations. So, how about you? Since you've been taking it for three months straight, do you notice any changes? I've heard Chinese medicine works well for infertility, and I think it's about time we saw some kind of effect. I want to see my grandchildren soon, and I'm looking forward to that, so I'm hoping you'll meet my expectations. No, nothing special yet. In the meantime, why don't you try a pregnancy test? Maybe you just don't know that you're pregnant. No, I'm definitely not pregnant. That's strange. That Chinese herb had a reputation for being really effective for infertility. I heard from many places that it was very effective, so I took the time to order it. And since I spent so much money to get it, I thought I'd get some kind of result. 
I'm really surprised that after all I've done, I haven't seen any results. Makes me wonder if you haven't been taking it properly. Thank you for your concern. I've been taking the medication properly. I'm sorry I didn't live up to your expectations when you went to the trouble of preparing it for me. What good is good medicine if it doesn't work properly? What a waste. I guess I'll have to give up on grandchildren now. Allison, how old are you now? I'll be 30 this year. Already that old? You've been married to my son for four years now. The older you get, the harder it is to get pregnant. Maybe it's time to move on. But nowadays, many women give birth in their 30s. I've heard it takes more than six years to have a baby. I think it's too early to give up. So, how long should I wait? Can you tell me exactly how long I have to wait? I know you're serious about this, but without a concrete timeline, it's just making me more anxious. So I need a clear timeline. I don't know about that. I'm doing the best I can, but the timing of pregnancy is really very individual. My doctor told me not to rush and to let nature take its course. I'm hoping to get good news as soon as possible. But in reality, the results are not always immediate. I understand your feelings, but please give me some more time. The risks of childbirth are decreasing with the development of medicine. But it doesn't mean that a woman's body is functioning any better, does it? I've heard that the older the mother is, the more likely she is to give birth to a sick child. You don't want to have a sick child, do you? You have to have a baby when you're young. But there's always that risk involved in childbirth. I think everyone knows the risks involved in having a child. I don't like grandchildren unless they are healthy. I don't want to have a grandchild with a disease. Please don't say that. You seem to have a hard time giving birth in the first place. You're a very defective wife. I'm sorry. If you can't have a baby, you should have said so in the first place. I feel like I got a defective product. I'm sorry for my son. The prenatal tests didn't show any abnormalities. I didn't expect it to take this long to conceive. Don't give me excuses. If you're not going to have a baby, I hope you'll stand down. Does that mean you want me to leave? You want me to divorce him because I can't bear children? Celia, I am trying very hard. My son should want to have children while he's still young. I can't wait any longer. I can't wait for many more years. You know how important it is to raise children while you are young, don't you? Yes, okay. If it is in the best interest of my husband and our family that I step aside, I will do so. I am so sorry for the trouble I've caused you. Allison, it was really by chance, but we bumped into each other. Who did you bump into? Your sister. I was surprised. I've never met her before, but she's a very nice person and I immediately felt at ease with her. Why didn't you introduce me to your sister before? That surprises me. Actually, my sister and I have been estranged for a few years now. We haven't kept in touch much. Oh, really? I didn't know that was the case. Did you have a fight? Or was there some big problem? Your sister didn't give me that impression at all. She was so sweet. So polite, so nice that I couldn't believe she was your sister. I don't get along with my sister. Actually, we had a lot of problems back in the day. Our relationship has always been strained. She and I have very different ideas and personalities. I'm sorry I didn't have a chance to introduce her to you. It's probably your fault anyway, right? Such a kind and humble person like her wouldn't have caused any problems. She seems so good with people. 
She seems like the type of person people would like. Are you sure it was my sister? Yes, it is. Where did you meet her? I happened to be at a physical therapy. She was a regular there. When she called my name, I recognized her as your sister. She had a face like yours. You remembered my sister's name? I'm good at remembering names. Allison and Annie, right? I remembered hearing that you and your sister had similar names. I see. What did you and my sister talk about? We talked about a lot of things. We were so into it that we went to a cafe after my physical therapy. We talked for over an hour. You talked that much? I'm surprised. My sister and my mother-in-law talked for such a long time. You must have really had a lot to talk about to keep talking for an hour and a half. I would love to hear what kind of topics you and my sister talked about. I don't need to tell you what we talked about, do I? Talking with you would not have been that much fun. I had such a great time. I even want to introduce her to my son. That's a little... Oh my god, why not? What? I mean, her and my son are in-laws, right? I don't see why we can't have some interaction. My sister's a troublemaker. She's always been a troublemaker. I think it's best if we don't get involved with her. I'd like to keep my distance if possible. She doesn't look like that to me. But she is. Well, she was right. What? Your sister told me you'd say this. She was sure you'd fabricate some bad information about her to tell me. You're setting me up to hate her. You're a mean sister. I didn't make anything up. Just ask my parents. She was a real problem child. Maybe they're in on it too. It's not uncommon for parents to favor the first child. You're just jealous because your sister is better liked. It's not like that at all, believe me. I have my reasons. My sister has always had problems, and our family has always been plagued by them. It is never out of jealousy or meanness that I speak ill of her. I know how much her behavior has caused problems for those around her. Even if you were right, wasn't she a problem child a long time ago? She's a very nice lady now, as far as I can tell. If you liked her that much, then maybe she has reformed. If my sister has changed so much, I can take some comfort in that. She used to be a real handful. She used to cause all kinds of trouble and annoy the family. But if you speak so highly of her, maybe things are different now. Yes, don't be too hard on her, okay? Don't you feel sorry for her? We're family. We should let bygones be bygones and get along. People change, and it's not good to dwell on past mistakes forever. We should help each other and live with each other. That's what a family is. Okay, I guess you're right. Allison, I have something I want to tell you. What happened? My son and your sister had a baby. Um, what? You mean my husband? Yes. You have only one husband, my son, don't you? But he is my husband, right? How could my sister be pregnant with my husband's child? Because those two are dating. It sounds like they had a relationship right after they met. And since they can have a baby right away, it seems like they are compatible with each other. What do you mean? Why are my sister and my husband dating without my knowledge? I brought them together. I thought they would get along. Why would you do that? It's your fault for not getting pregnant. It seems your sister was more capable than you as a woman. Because she got pregnant so quickly. She's so different from her sister. But this is terrible. You're the one who's terrible. We've wasted the last four years waiting for you to get pregnant. 
My son lost four precious years of his twenties. He should have met your sister instead of you. I see. I'm sorry. I wish you all the best. So, I'm in your way and I can leave? I'm so glad you're so quick to understand. I want you to pack up your stuff and leave right away. Your sister will be moving into the house. I'll get a moment. the fact that he had an affair. He'll have to pay for the move, and I won't back down about that. Fine, suit yourself. My son makes a good living. He can at least pay you alimony. You're a stubborn woman to ask for money at the end. It's a good thing I switched to your sister's side. I hope you get along well with my sister. I don't care what happens to you. What? Aren't you going to congratulate your sister on the birth of her child? Of course not. Well, I was only joking. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Don't be mean to your sister just because she took your man. If you try to punish her, I'll protect her. You take care of my sister so well. I'm surprised you like her so much. As someone who knew my sister in the past, I find it a little hard to believe. If she has really changed, then I'm happy for her. Good for her in that case, and congratulations. Oh, thank you. She is a woman who is carrying my precious grandchild, so I will take good care of her. Annie is a really nice person, and isn't it wonderful that she is going to have my grandchild? I hope to have a good relationship with her in the future, and I'm looking forward to the birth. Hooray! Can you talk to my sister? Tell her not to send me ultrasound photos. I'm sure she wants her sister to congratulate her. Do you think I would give my sister my blessing? I was cheated on and kicked out of my husband's house. Even the most open-minded person wouldn't want to give her my blessing. I'm sure she wants to brag now that the baby is in the stable stage. Bragging? You really have a bad personality. But you were the cause of the abandonment, weren't you? Don't forget about your infertility and play the victim. I wasted three years of my life because of you. We feel the same. If I'd known you were such heartless people, I wouldn't have married into your family. So, don't play the victim. You're as mouthy as ever. I don't care what happens to you. You'll get hurt if you're not careful. What are you talking about? My sister? I said she was a problem child. That's not the past. She's now slept with her sister's husband and sent ultrasound photos. It's obvious she has a problem. I have no problem with that. It's a small problem if she's going to have the baby. That's not all. My sister has bad taste in men. Oh no, you're jealous and started bad-mouthing your sister. It's embarrassing to watch. You'll only make yourself look miserable. You'll regret it. Allison, can I have a word with you? Can you tell me more about your sister? Actually, she's been having a lot of problems lately. You once told me that she had a problem with men and I wanted to know if that was true. I just want you to tell me how many problems she's had and how she's been involved with men. With so many different problems coming up, you're right, I can't just ignore them. I have told you about my sister's problems many times, haven't I? But every time I did, you said I was jealous or mean. You wouldn't take me seriously. Why are you coming to me for advice now? You've been ignoring me all this time because you said you didn't trust my words. I really didn't want to believe you, but this time I'm in too much trouble to ignore you. Your sister has done something again, and it is affecting our family. We really need to do something about this before it gets any worse. I see. 
what happened? It seems your sister had an affair with another man, not my son. And there's a woman claiming to be his wife. She said she's going to sue them. I'm not surprised. My sister would do that. Is that what you think? But we heard she was having an affair before she met my son. So, my son paid the woman on her behalf. Then I got a call from another woman. Was it the wife of another man with whom my sister had an affair? This time it was a lawyer, but the message was the same about money. They also said that Annie was having an ongoing relationship with a married man. My son lost his savings from the last payment. I had to dip into my savings to pay this time. I just don't know what I'm going to do if this keeps happening. I told you that my sister was a troublemaker. Most of the trouble she got into involved men. For some reason, she always had her hands on men who were already married. It didn't matter to her. Why would she do that? I guess it's fun to steal from people? I think she satisfies her need for approval by taking from others. Your guess is correct. My sister is probably having many more affairs. You say that as if you've seen them all. You are that sure? I know approximately how many people she's had affairs with. Oh, really? How so? I looked around her. I wasn't convinced that my sister would be happy with her family. I was sure she'd still have a bad taste in men. I was looking for a weakness. Could it be that you were trying to get revenge on us? Yes, that's right. I was too angry. My sister is currently involved with at least eight men. Eight? Hey, that many? Six are married. Tactic. I told her that your husband had What? No. That it's you. Mean that I might still have to pay more money? Impossible. My son's savings are gone and mine are limited. I'm planning to sue as well. I don't know how many more people are considering it. One or two more and your savings will be gone. It's my retirement fund. My pension is so small that I won't be able to survive without my savings. Why don't the three of you just support each other and live? As long as you have the grandkid, everything else is a trivial matter, right? Wait a minute. If she's had so many relationships, doesn't that mean that the father of the baby is not my son? Oh, did you notice that? That's right. If the father of the child isn't my son, what's the point of us paying all these women on her behalf? Right? But why don't you just raise the baby as your grandchild, without worrying about whether they are your real grandchild or not? It's the child of the woman you liked. A child of a woman who causes so many problems? If they aren't related by blood, I wouldn't have the heart to raise them. Even if he tries to divorce her, I don't think she'll back down quietly. It's going to be a mess, so be prepared for it. Why won't she back down if she's the one cheating? My sister is rotten to the core. That's why no one in my family had any contact with her. If that's the way it is, you better explain it to me. I told you already. But you didn't listen to me because you thought I was jealous. How could I let this happen? If this is what it's come to, I shouldn't have switched wives. I'd still rather have never had grandchildren than lose all my money. That's asking for too much, isn't it? Do something about it, Allison. I'm really in trouble in this situation. Can't you do something about that sister of yours and talk to her? I don't want to get into any more trouble. She's your sister, so do something about it. Celia, I've already cut ties with her. Whatever she does is no longer my business. If my sister causes any problems, I'm not obligated to fix them. 
This is the result of your choosing her, and I can't be asked to do anything about it. Oh no. My son is still being pushed around by her, and we're at our limits. Allison, please, can you help me? You're the only one who can help us. Can you please tell me how to deal with your sister? I'm sorry, but I'm not going to get involved in your problems anymore. I've been hurt enough by now, and I don't want to be part of it. My new life is too important for me to help you any further. Don't be so cold, Allison. I am no longer a part of this, so please don't contact me again. I'm going to block you completely after this. Wait a minute. Allison! I'm sorry, I apologize. Please forgive me. Allison! After that, my sister suddenly disappeared, leaving the child with my ex-mother-in-law and her son. That's just like my sister to do that. Celia and her son were at their wit's end and were left to take care of the child. Celia was blamed for bringing my sister into the house, and my ex-husband was furiously criticized by his mother. Meanwhile, they are both also on the verge of bankruptcy, having lost all their assets due to the troubles with my sister. He was trapped by my sister and left penniless, alone and in despair, a complete change from his former life. My sister has completely disappeared. He is now left to raise his child on his own, exhausted by the demands of raising a child and balancing work and family. He has hit bottom both mentally and physically. He will be isolated from society and live in deep despair. Now I have met a new partner and remarried. And, miraculously, I am pregnant and looking forward to the day when I will be able to meet my newborn child.